Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome to this video and in this video we're taking a look at the perk Killing Wind. This is something that I've been wanting to focus on. Obviously it's one of the new perks with Season of Arrivals and we're going to be taking a real good look at this fusion rifle, Hollow Words. Obviously one of the Umbral Engram weapons. But first, a quick word from today's sponsors, Raid Shadow Legends. Guys, Raid Shadow Legends is a turn-based RPG done right. It is free to play and it is available on both mobile and PC so you can truly play your way. All right, so what I'm gonna be showing you here today is the portal system and then the tavern system. In the portal, you can turn in ancient shards like I'm doing right here. You can get rare, epic, or legendary champions. I wanna get at least one epic champion here. As you saw right there, we got a rare champion. I'm gonna turn in another one. We got Spikehead, he is another rare boy. We want an epic. Can we get an epic? Ooh, purple, purple lights, boom, there we go. Lady Atessa, epic attack champion, boom. That is what I'm talking about. Through the portal system, with the shards that you collect in the game, you have the chance to get really cool champions just like Lady Atessa. You can see she's got some really good abilities. And we're also gonna take a quick look at the reviews. She's got really great reviews too. Now, here's the thing, she's only level one. So, we take her to the tavern. In the tavern, you can sacrifice a lower rarity champions to boost higher rarity champions. That's what we're gonna do. So we've got some rare and common champions. We're gonna get them in here and we're gonna sacrifice them. And go all the way up to level 15 but i think i want her to be a little bit higher so we're just gonna sacrifice a couple of more rare champions rares are still good by the way but they're just not as good as this epic now i can see she's level 21 i took her into a battle against some dude with a giant golden sword he was kind of scary kind of tough as you can see though we made quick work of this guy thanks to the awesome leadership and qualities of lady atessa that we unlocked in the portal opening ancient shards Challenge yourself to your edge in the ongoing tournaments. Compete against the entire raid community whilst fighting the Spider's Den, Ice Gone's Peak, and the Almighty Fire Knight, or the Notorious Dragon, in order to win awesome rewards and rare artifacts. So guys, what are you waiting for? Go to the video description and click on the special link, and if you're a new player, you'll get 100,000 silver, plus one free champion, Grumbler. He's a really powerful champion, and he will help you get through the early stages of the campaign. All this treasure will be waiting for you here, don't forget, you only have 30 days to claim these rewards. It'll only be available for the next 30 days. So get on it quick, boys. Raid Shadow Legends. Now, you can see the perk I'm talking about right here, Killing Wind. Final blows grant increased mobility, weapon range, and handling for a short duration. Now, we have the other new perk as well, Unrelenting. Rapidly defeating targets triggers health regeneration. Guardians and powerful combatants count as more than one kill. However, I think it might be a triple you need in PvP because I got many double downs and uh, I wasn't getting any health regeneration because of the perk. So honestly, I think it's safe to say that that perk is probably more PvE related. Now we were running One-Eyed Mask as well, so even if that perk wasn't giving us heals, we were healing on kill on any marked target, which is really, really nice, obviously. Now going back to the perk Killing Wind, if you guys ever played D1, then there is a perk called Battle Runner, and this is very similar to Killing Wind, only Killing Wind is overall a much better perk than Battle Runner. If you guys don't know what Battle Runner did, you got a kill and then you got increased movement speed for a couple of seconds after a kill. Really, really good perk to have on a shotgun, for example, you know, really lending to that run and gun play style. This does the same thing. Killing Wind gives you a really nice bump to your movement speed, but not only that, it increases the handling and range of your weapon. And that is really, really nice, man. Something like a fusion rifle, it was noticeable. However, I do have complaints with this fusion. You could see in that clip right there, it's just not a consistent weapon. It's a precision frame archetype of fusion rifle. And uh, frankly, they're just not very good. The only archetype of fusion that's gonna get you anything near to reliable and consistent results would be high impact frame fusion rifles and the Bastion exotic fusion. Other than that, Maybe you can make an argument for Telesto's use as well. You know, the fusions are just not good. I've spoken about this several times in the past, especially when talking about Erentil in its heyday, talking about it needing a nerf. Whenever I talked about Erentil needing a nerf, I always mentioned how fusions being hit scan basically kills any kind of variety of choice when it comes to using regular fusion rifles. You either use the strongest archetype for damage, which is high impact, or you go home. And you can see in these clips, like this fusion is cool, it sounds cool, it looks cool. The perks are amazing, especially Killing Wind, like I've already said. But it's just, this perk isn't on a good weapon, that's the problem. I think the other weapons you can get with the perk are probably the new 
obviously all of the new weapons that are available with the Umbral Engrams and the Season Pass. And they're all cool weapons. I've obviously reviewed the Auto Rifle already. And obviously you've got the two sword frames that are kind of like Dark Drinker and Bolt Caster. Really cool. And then you've got a Pulse Rifle, you've got a Bow, and you have this Fusion Rifle. I don't believe I'm missing anything else. And this is the problem. The Bow is a lightweight frame bow, not a very strong weapon in PvP. The Auto Rifle, High Impact Frame Auto Rifle, not a very strong meta weapon in PvP. The auto, the um, sorry, the Pulse Rifle is a High Impact Frame and they got buffed. But honestly guys, I don't know if you've tried any High Impact Frames. But for me, the buff is not very, very noticeable. It's not something that's going to shake up the meta in any way, in my opinion. Feel free to disagree, but I don't think it's going to shake up the meta at all. I think the only high impact frame pulse worth using would probably be the Redrick's Broadsword because of the perk Desperado. I think Bungie should strongly reconsider sunsetting that weapon because it's a really, you know, it's the perfect pinnacle weapon in my opinion. Really strong perk, requires, you know, a special situation to proc the perk. Takes a little bit of skill to get a headshot kill and you know away you go with Desperado really really good But yeah, I'm kind of drifting off point My issue with killing wind is not the perk itself. It's amazing It's just that I wish that this perk was available on better weapons Maybe in time we will see it But I can just imagine this perk on a lightweight hand cannon or this perk on a lot You know a shotgun or you know even a sniper rifle if you're a really aggressive sniper just something really effective and useful in PvP, but on better weapons. That's my only only request. But it's a great start. Killing Wind is just a great perk. I'm a huge, huge fan. It's a good sign that Bungie haven't, you know, they're not out of ideas, you know. They've got ideas for perks. Killing Wind is really cool. The other perk as well is good, but it definitely seems more like a PvE oriented perk. But obviously I think you need a triple to activate health regeneration. And that's just kind of, you know, it's nice. Don't get me wrong. But are you gonna really pick a perk that's based around getting triple downs? Probably not, right? Probably not. At least for me anyway, I don't know about you guys. What are your opinions, guys, on the Umbral Engram weapons? Obviously the Pulse Rifle I've yet to try because it's quite a ways down the season pass and I'm not quite there yet. I don't hoard bounties or anything like that. I think I'm at season, or sorry, rank 11 on the season pass right now. And I'm actually working on the Catalyst for the new grenade launcher. Now, one thing I was going to mention actually was, would you guys be interested in a guide on showing you how to quickly get those 100 Guardian defeats for the Catalyst? If you guys are interested in that, let me know. I can work on that video, you know, very shortly after this one. I personally use Fighting Lion and Mountain Top together and I banged out those 100 kills real quick. So that's obviously an option if you guys are interested. Going back to the, obviously, the fusion that we're using, like I said, the precision frames and just fusions in general really need a rework in order to make them feel unique and valuable, you know? This one does have value because it comes with the perk Killing Wind. And when you get the perk going, man, this thing kinda maps that snapshot feeling from the increased handling, the max movement speed or whatever it is you get. It's really, really good, man. And I wanna just give props to whoever came up with the idea. It's a great sounding name for a perk as well. Killing Wind, it sounds like something out of Naruto. By the way, do you notice my outfit? You see what I'm trying to look like? Yo, props in the comment section if anyone guesses what I'm trying to do with my shader setup right now. Look at that green jacket and those blue pants and arms. Yo, who am I right now, guys? I will heart your comment. Who am I? Dude, who's this? This crown he is. What? Dude, get the fuck out of here, man. But anyway, guys, we're coming towards the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the video and you think this fusion rifle is kind of nice, let me know in the comment section. Let me know what rules you guys have got on this thing. Do you guys also really, really like Killing Wind as much as I do? Yo, listen, let me just quickly hit this guy with the Chidori. Oh, rip. I'm trying to do a video on the returning bolt caster, but guys, it's rough trying to do video on heavy weapon in PvP, especially bolt caster, dude. You can swing the sword once and do the heavy attack once. <laughs> One swing and you're done. <laughs> it's really difficult. I might venture into Gambit with Strongholds and uh, see what that's like. But I heard Gambit is kind of scary on PC. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.